What's going on my fellow dongs and welcome to another top 10 video. Also, happy new year everybody. First video of 2020. We are going to be ranking the top 10 worst Kirby abilities in the game. I've been wanting to do this for a while and now it's finally time. This list is only going to be basing off the main series Kirby games. No spin-off Kirby games such as Canvas Curse, Rainbow Curse, uh, I won't also count Kirby 64 mix abilities either because that really doesn't count. And other like special abilities from spinoffs like Mass Attack or basically anything like that won't count either. It's just going to be the main copy abilities. Without further ado, let's -a go. Number 10, Cupid from Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. This ability will probably never come back again, and there's a reason for that. You shoot multiple arrows, or one arrow, depending on how long you hold it for, and you fly faster, which is pretty good, but even then, this is still an ability that nobody would use in bosses. Like, this is such a useless ability. I don't see a single use for this, at least in my opinion. Maybe there's something about it in the other Kirby games, but I only know that this there's only two Kirby games that makes you use the Cupid ability. So, even then, this, this ability is just a piece of garbage. And nobody would really use this at all. Number 9, Parasol. Here's an ability that has never left the Kirby series since the beginning. And it's been in like every main series Kirby game. And it still is to this day. Now, people are going to disagree with this list point a little lower. But I know a lot of people like Parasol for multiple reasons. Maybe because of Star Allies it got better. But even then, this is still a very useless ability. Like there's really, even Star Allies, there's barely a use for Parasol. Does anyone actually like this ability? Now, sure, it is a classic ability, which makes it good, but even then, this is still a pretty trash ability, so, yeah. Number 8, Throw. I know people are going to disagree, because I know this is one of the coolest abilities out there, but I can't see anybody actually liking Throw. Now, there is a use for this in multiple Kirby games. It's more of a useful ability, but one lesson to learn is don't use this against bosses, because you need enemies to throw, obviously, and that's why this ability is probably really bad. Now, using this in against enemies is good and all that, but I can't really see a, a use for bosses. Like, does anyone actually use Throw at all? And this is the reason why it will probably never come back at all. Unless they make it a little better, even then, you're still gonna need enemies for it so i highly doubt this ability will ever come back number seven backdrop this is basically throw 2.0 but kind of in a bad way you need enemies once again but you do some really cool tricks depending on the direction you hold you grab an enemy you, ch you choose a direction you want to go and that's basically it. it's just hitting enemies and that's it i don't know how useful this works in bosses because i never ever ever use this in bosses at all um, yeah, I really don't like, I don't have much to say on this ability, honestly, because this is probably one of the worst abilities in Adventure. The only downside to this, I really wish there were many uses in bosses just to throw enemies, but hey, that's, that's a topic for another time, I guess. Number 6, Ball Kirby. This is by far probably one of the weirdest abilities I've ever seen. You just turn into a ball, you bounce around by pressing the button multiple times. Well, you can't spam it, obviously, because you need to time it. And you be invincible, which is cool, but not for a long time. I can't see a use of this in bosses. This is by far one of the dumbest abilities I've ever seen. Now, sure, it could be useful in some cases, but I can't see anybody liking this ability. Does anyone actually like Ball Kirby? Number five, stone. I know you guys are probably going to disagree with my list right now because I know this is one of the most iconic abilities ever and has never left us since. Well, it's pretty much on the mess side, honestly, to me, because maybe it's just I don't like using this in bosses, but this is more of like a helpful ability. You just turn into a stone and be invincible as much as you want while well, have fun dealing with this in bosses because you can't keep this on for long. You're not completely invincible. It's not like a broken ability or anything, but I just feel like this ability is just more on the mess side. I really wish there was more of a use of this in bosses, but at least they kind of stepped it up with their moves. But even then, I never really liked stone on this. Number four, Metal Kirby. This is basically a replacement of the stone ability from in Kirby Squeak Squad. And while you be invincible from enemies, which is amazing, while you move very, very slow and you cannot fly very high. Honestly, I just like, it's like an ability like I have too much in pain. Like I'm really impatient and I really don't like this ability. And even bosses, you can't even really use this in bosses because if you run into enemy with bosses, Unless you're attacking, obviously, you're going to take damage. So you can't literally be invincible through bosses because that would be kind of broken. Even if how slow it is, it probably would be too OP. There's a reason that this ability will probably never come back again. Unless they make it broken, but I highly doubt that. 
Number three, cleaning ability. This is by far one of the weirdest abilities I've ever seen. Ever since I played Dreamland 3, it's pretty useless. While Star Allies, it came back, and it made it a little more interesting where you can basically give the Star characters, or whatever they're called, uh, the ability for win. While that's cool and all, this, this ability is still useless for bosses, and that's it. Really not much to say on this one, and there's barely any moves to this. While sure, you can use some of the Dreamland 3 enemies, or helpers, for your, for the move set, but even then, this is still one of the weirdest abilities ever, and I... Number 2. Bell. This is by far one of the weirdest new abilities I've seen, and people are probably going to disagree with my list because I know a lot of people probably forgot this ability existed. This was only used in one Kirby game, which is Kirby's Triple Deluxe, and even then, this is by far one of the boringest new abilities I've ever seen. And maybe it's because I don't like how it attacks and it's kind of like eh, underpowered and not powerful at all, but it's just that nobody likes this ability. Like, does anyone actually like Bell for silliness? Just use freaking Beetle, that's way better. Ugh, I can't get over it. And number one is sleep. I mean, I don't think anybody's surprised to see this number one. What useful is this? Nothing. Well, you basically sleep if you pick this up for like, I don't know, five seconds, I guess. And, um... You can, well, other games you can wake up early, and some games you just heal. It's still useless for not even fighting, at least, so... I don't think I need to go too far into this ability, because it's just useless. So, yeah. It was not easy raking all of these Kirby abilities. Some of these abilities are pretty cool, but some of these are pretty meh. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time for more. Later, folks.